what we're doing with all of our wood after we saw it, we air dry it for uh, several months, sometimes up to a year and a half, depending on the thickness. If it's three inches thick it, uh, and walnut, we'll dry it for a year and a half. And then it will go into our solar kilns where it'll get conditioned and get below the 20% moisture content where you can't really damage it by adding it to uh, high heat here. So once it goes in this kiln, it'll start off in uh, uh, 80, 90 degree, go to uh, 110, then 120. We'll pull the moisture out with the dehumidifier. And then once it gets to a certain moisture content, we will jack it up to about 110. 35 140 degrees for 48 hours or even three days to sterilize it and then the wood comes out and goes in our storage shops and I'll take you inside and show you uh, what's in here and uh, take some moisture readings on the wood. Alright we're in testing the uh, these walnut slabs that I've got in here most of them are uh, 10 quarter and 12 quarter and some ash underneath they're both close to the same density level and I check my moisture with the uh, Wagner Orion 930 which will read three quarters deep and so I set it on the right species density which I keep it on 55 for walnut and then I check the moisture contents uh, periodically through the kiln cycle and I get a reading of 7.4% 4.3% and this is on the top and what I've got is this tarp here that lays over and we're going to fix up something better uh, to keep the air circulating through the stack and here on the end, 5.2%, 7.1%. So these walnut slabs, which has some pretty good width to them and character, are going to go through a heat cycle for a couple days now. And then we'll pull them out and put the next load in. And the ash also. Ash right now is reading 7.4%. This is that leopard ash that y'all have seen pictures of. So, yeah, we're going to get it uh, closed back up, get the temperature back up, and uh, get this stuff sterilized.